Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a rainbow striped shirt and then later I'm going to add some black to the top. The shirt was washed and dried, soaked in a soda ash solution for at least 20 to 30 minutes. I wrung it out of my panda spin dryer so it's just barely damp. I also have it turned inside out. To begin, I'm going to center the shirt, which means that I'm going to put the center of the front of the shirt right up next to the center of the back of the shirt. That way, as I dye the shirt, the front of the shirt's going to be more symmetrical and the back of the shirt will end up more symmetrical. This part's going to go pretty fast, but down below in the description for this video is a link to another video which shows the centering process. Okay, so now that the shirt is centered, I want to go ahead and put some really wide fan folds in the shirt. So I'm going to fold it in half one more time. Then grabbing that area that I just folded down to fold it in half, I'm going to take that and fold it back halfway. So as you can see, I've made a pretty wide fan fold. Then turn it over and fold that portion down too. So I've basically vertically fan folded the shirt, just using some really wide fan folds. I want to stripe the shirt, but I don't want all of the lines to be straight across the shirt. So I'm going to draw diagonal lines onto my shirt that I'm going to fan fold. But to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to cut a piece of plastic cutting board to width, and then I'm just going to use that to draw the lines on the shirt. That way I don't have to measure them with a the ruler. I'm going to fan fold each of these lines and tie them up with some sinew. Okay, so now it's time to start applying the dye. I'm beginning with Fire Red from Dharma Trading Company, followed by Deep Orange from Dharma Trading Company, Lemon Yellow from Dharma Trading Company, Bright Green from Dharma Trading Company. Turquoise from Grateful Dyes. Grape from Custom Colors. Fuchsia from Grateful Dyes. And I'm ending with another line of Fire Red from Dharma. Okay, so I'm going to put the shirt aside and allow it to process for 24 hours. Then I'm gonna take it to my sink and begin rinsing in cold water to rinse out all of the excess soda ash. 
Then I'm going to gradually warm the water up to hot and continue rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't react with the shirt. Then I'll wash it in the washing machine using a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent and some hot water. After I threw it in the dryer, this is what our shirt looks like. Okay, so I ended up with a little bit of one of the dark colors making a spot onto the yellow. I mean, I know there's some green on the yellow and a little bit of the orange, but there is one specific spot that's just really bugging me. So I'm going to add some black to the top to cover that spot up. I don't want to cover up all of the rainbow colors though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a washable marker and draw a circle around this spot just so that I make sure as I tie up the shirt, I keep track of where that spot is and that area actually gets black dye. I went ahead and just rinsed the shirt again in some cold water to get it damp, wrung it out, and it hasn't been soaked in anything. It's just damp from plain water. I'm going to use a fork and spiral the shirt, and then I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. I set the shirt aside and left it for probably about 12 hours just because I was busy tying up a few other shirts. So it's not soaking wet, but it's also not completely dry yet. It is just barely, barely damp. I've mixed up some dark black from Custom Colors. And then since I did not re-soak the shirt in soda ash, I added a little bit of soda ash powder to my dye and I'm going to apply it immediately to my shirt. Okay, so the top section, the one that I just applied the dye to, is the area that had the spot I was trying to cover up. I'm also going to apply dye to the section that's just across from that, or the wedge that's just across from that, and two more of the side pieces. Then I'm going to turn the shirt over and apply dye in the same places on the back side. I'm trying not to add the dye very heavily. I want to cover the front side and the back side, but I don't really want it to necessarily soak all the way through. I don't mind if the black is a little bit spotty. I really just want to cover up that one dark area. And I think the black will add some interest to the shirt. You can tell by how little the colors are moving that I'm not adding a lot of dye to each area. The soda ash that I added into my dye though keeps plugging up the nozzle. That's why I keep having to stop and shake it. I set the shirt aside and I allowed it to process for another 24 hours. Then I took it to my sink and began the rinse out process again. Washed it, dried it, and this is what it looks like now. So I'm really glad I went ahead and added in the black. It did cover up the spot that I was wanting to cover up, but I also think it adds a little bit of interest to the shirt. I like the fact that the spiral isn't solid. I kind of like it blotchy like that. So hey, if you've enjoyed watching this video, I sure would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.